started. So hey guys, it's Red Lace, and we are playing Stardew Valley today, and we are back on my main character, and uh, it is spring year four, Tuesday the 9th, and tomorrow is Vincent's birthday. So we're going to get some grapes for him, because I know that's his favorite, so we got that in the works, and today we're also going to work on getting preserve jars going. I only have about four or five and I want a boatload of them. <laughs> so we're going to make a ton of preserve jars today and um, to make those we need 50 wood, 40 stone, and 8 coal. So we have 3 stone. We are uh, a little short, <laughs> you could say. So we're going to be spending some time in the mines probably to get stone for those preserve jars. And uh, we have plenty of wood, as you can tell. I did a lot of tree chopping yesterday. So, yeah. Cat, you got the Statue of Endless Fortune? Oh, I'm so jealous. So jealous. Hey, Dodo. Welcome. How's it going today? Okay. So, I'm really excited to show you guys. I'll upload it to Twitter after the stream. But I took a screenshot of my entire farm last night. And I've been letting all the cherry trees and all the crops bloom, so it actually looked pretty. <laughs> so I haven't harvested anything in a little while. But I'm really excited for you guys to see it. I think it looks so nice. So we have extra luck today, so let's just go ahead and harvest things. Now that I've taken my screenshot, we don't need to worry about that. Hey, little toothless, welcome back. Alright, um, that's not what I wanted. Toss the bait back on my iridium rod. Okay, it's definitely parsnip town. Parsnip town. Bum 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 bum. Parsnip town. So it's almost the weekend. Does anybody have any grand plans? I'm hoping the weather stays nice. It is so pretty out. I just can't even believe it. So pretty. Oh look, all my potatoes for Alex are ready. He can finally eat something other than blueberries. <laughs> You're playing The Witcher, Adri? I love The Witcher. That is a very fun game. Extra good on the story front. How do I take a screenshot mop in? Well, um, I'm a graphic designer, so I used a little trickery. <laughs> and um, I uh, used Photoshop to do mine, and screenshots, and piecing them together. So. The way I did it was a little involved, but um, I think there's programs that you can download to get a larger screenshot if you wanted to do that, uh, so you can get your whole farm, but I'm not sure what those programs are, because I just use the tools that I know how to use, so I'm afraid I can't offer much in that department, unless you're familiar with Photoshop and screenshots. <laughs> you're going to play video games and watch Batman 5 this weekend, Luke? Oh, Batman versus Superman. Okay. That sounds fun. <laughs> like my song? Like my song, legit? Parson of Town. <laughs> Your fiance is going to come visit you this weekend, Cat? Hopefully. Well, that'll be fun. He's getting deployed, huh? So he's in the army, I'm assuming? That's too bad. Does anyone know how Final Fantasy XV is? I do not, Mike. Sorry. I cannot offer any advice in that department. That is not a game I have played. Welcome back, Megan. Oh no, Moppin, it's not a built-in feature to the game. No, the screenshots? No, definitely not. Okay, so as you can see, like I was saying, well, I was letting the fruit grow so my trees would be pretty for the screenshot. <laughs> so I have plenty of fruit to harvest, I reckon. I also started working on this yesterday. I'm going to widen my tree tapper farm to this edge, to my walkway. So I've planted six more trees, so I'm going to have two more of each row, and then I'm going to fence it in and put the flooring in so it looks nice, but while they're growing it just looks a little hodgepodge. But we'll fix it later. Your fiance's in the Navy cat. Awesome. That's cool. Hopefully he's going somewhere safe and not somewhere dangerous. Okay. 
So I definitely, definitely am going to make preserve jars today. Oh yeah, I stuck some um, looms in here yesterday as well. They're totally sporadic. <laughs> I just put them anywhere they could fit at the time that all the animals were in here. So I could barely even walk from one end of the chicken coop to the other, but I finally made it past them and was able to put in a few looms so we can actually make some fabric now and then, which is nice. You just reached a 100k gaming giraffe? Nice work. I got to 200 last night, so I'm sitting on a little over 200k at the moment, but not nearly close to that million marker, but that's why we're going to work on getting preserve jars going so I can start making some super money. <laughs> An excellent amount of eggs, Luke? Yes, I would agree. <laughs> Look at all the cherries. I need preserve jars. Yeah, see this is my pitiful preserve jar area. I have five. Five preserve jars. Like that's just not gonna work. That's not enough. Nope. I not even. So we need more. Alright, is there anything to harvest over here? My farm right now is out of control big. And like I said, I haven't been harvesting for a couple days, so I think everything's kinda ready right now. It feels like a lot of stuff's ready, so I could practically spend a whole day harvesting stuff. Oh no, I didn't want to eat that garlic. Oopsie daisy. Welcome back, Pavo. Okay. I'm starting to regret my decision to put these green beans right here because now I can't walk through here. I have to walk around and I don't like it. <laughs> my laziness comes into play. Like, ugh, I have to walk all the way around. Man. You found a mod that has a second area attached to the current farm to get another farm? What, Almeida? That's crazy. So you could have like a monster farm? Huh. It's normal generation too, so it has hay. That sounds pretty groovy. I am so excited for Dark Souls 3 as well, Gaming Giraffe. You bet I will be playing the daylights out of that game, so y'all can look forward to that. Oh yeah, I made another Crystallarium last night, and now I have an Earth Crystal and two Diamonds. Because I need Earth Crystals for my mayonnaise machines. I want to get a bunch more mayonnaise machines going as well. So I need more Earth Crystals, so I figure what better way than have the Crystallarium pumping them out to me, right? You're really excited about Dark Souls 3 as well, Pavo? Yes, I am so excited for that game. I'm a huge Dark Souls fan. I love the punishing gameplay. <laughs> Can't get enough. It's so fun. Can't wait. I was really bummed about Bloodborne being PS4 only. And uh, not very happy about it still, but whatever. It is what it is. But um, I'm really excited about Dark Souls 3. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I don't know, Adri, why your stream is lagging. Wow, it's blowing up in here. Almost all my fruit trees have bloomed. So the fruit trees that are inside my greenhouse will actually produce fruit year-round, which is awesome. So I'm getting oranges and things that aren't normally in season. It's a little different in here. Circumstances, normally, you know, the trees have to have a clear space on all sides around them to grow, but it doesn't matter in here. Like, the little decorations that are around don't actually count towards that. So you can grow trees in here, so if you didn't know that, you definitely want to get your fruit trees inside the greenhouse. And uh, I could probably fit two more in here if I wanted, but uh, I kind of like the entrance being open the way it is, so... The problem with these bottom ones, too, is they block the bottom crop, so you can't see them very well unless you're right behind the tree. Hello, Chronic! Welcome! How's it going today? Yeah, I'm not a Twitch partner. I wish. Not yet. One day. RPGs are too expensive for you, Luke? Like, uh, too much time, or... What kind of expensive? Oh, I got a gold sweet gem berry. Yay! 
Yeah, I love RPGs. I am. Um, I think that's probably one of my favorite game types, RPGs. I really enjoy them. Okay. Oh yeah. Let's get rid of that stuff too. And all that garlic. We got lots of potatoes for for our hubby, Alex. <laughs> Too much money, yeah. Games are expensive, I agree. Especially uh, full titles. Averaging about 60 bucks a pop, so yeah, they are expensive. Yet another fever this morning, Chronic? Oh no. You've been sick for like a good week at least now, haven't you? Hope you're feeling better soon. That's rotten. If you don't feel good enough today to hang out, I totally understand. I'd rather you go feel better, so if you want to check out and just relax, that's totally fine. Don't feel obligated to stick around today. It sucks you don't feel well. Okay, there's so much stuff in here I can't even harvest it. Like, what is going on? You have a fever as well, Gaming Draft? What is this fever going around? Oh no, everybody's feeling sick. I have allergies, we're all a mess. <laughs> you just reached 10 hearts with Haley Noble, congratulations. Alright, what do we want to sell? We want to sell those and those. Okay, we'll do that. When you get sick, it takes a bajillion years to go away. That's a bummer. Alright, Chronic. Well, if you feel like heading out early, I understand. Sorry you don't feel well. You don't think you've ever had a fever, Luke? Uh, I don't know. It's pretty common. Especially when you're a kid. To check with your mother on that one. She probably have another opinion. <laughs> Especially if you get chicken pox. Chicken pox tend to come with fevers. That's a childhood ailment. Oh no, look at that crow. He's gonna go try to eat something. Oh no. Oh, bummer, Chronic. Why is your farm screwed up right now, Mike? What's going on with your farm? What's going on with your poor farm? You just have a really good immune system, Luke. Well, that's good. That's good. Chicken pox was horrible for me, too, Chronic. I had it when I think I was six, the chicken pox. And um, I was having, like, hallucinations with my fever. So I thought the cuckoo clock my parents had in our house growing up was, like, a coming to life. <laughs> My mom said it was pretty bad. <laughs> I've heard the stories on many occasion. Attack of the cuckoo clock. <laughs> Alright. You're just trying to redesign it and it's all over the place? Oh, I know how that goes. Yeah, it's easy to have that happen, Mike. Yeah, I'm working on redesigning some of my stuff right now, too. Just moving a few things here and there and... It can get messy. <laughs> Pink eye, ouch. Hey, Alan, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream today. Thank you forever, Twitch. Welcome to the stream. So happy to have both of you guys. How have you had chicken pox three times, Luke? Chicken pox, I think, is once you have it, you're immune after that. I don't think you can have chicken pox more than once. I think that's why when someone has chicken pox, if you've already had it, you don't have to worry about it. You can't catch it from them. So I'd be pretty amazed if you had it more than once. You hallucinated purple elephants with pink polka dots. <laughs> oh, that's random. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm not laughing at your misery, I'm just laughing at the situation. <laughs> By the way. Oh, 
Okay. 10 o'clock already. All right, we spent the whole day collecting our crops and so forth. Let me see if I have any seeds I can throw in to plant real quick. Um, I'm saving those flower seeds for making more of my barrels of flowers. I really like these, the tub of flowers. They take 15 wood, one tulip bulb, one jazz, one poppy, and one spangle seed. And uh, I think they're really pretty. I put them all over the property. They only bloom in spring, summer, and fall. Or is it only spring and summer? Mm. Yeah, blooms only in spring and summer. But I really like them, so I put them everywhere. <laughs> I wasted a bunch of stuff on them yesterday. What stage is my kid at, Gaming Giraffe? Um, my kid... I don't have anything to plant. Bummer. Um, my kid is at the second stage. He's now standing up in his crib and I can throw him into the air. Hey Deadly Kick, welcome back. Hey Pavo. Ah, Cat has confirmed this whole mysterious return of chicken pox virus. <laughs> All right, we need to talk about something more positive. This is a Debbie Downer, man. So, <laughs> let's check out my kid, Han Solo. He's sleeping right now, I guess. We don't want to wake him, I suppose. But in the daytime, he's up and about. So that's pretty good. Um, tomorrow, we're going to go to the mines to get stone so we can get going on our preserve jars. And I need to get a grape for Vincent's birthday tomorrow. Grape, grape, grape is his favorite. He will love it. Yeah, I can interact with the kid right now, Pavo. I can toss him into the air, and he gets all happy and excited, and that's about all I can do at the moment. So very limited stuff to do with the kid, but yeah, I can do at least that. So that's good. It's better than him just sleeping all the time. That's all he ever did was sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Darn babies. <laughs> You can't watch, Dudley? All right, well, we'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out. Sebastian asked you if you wanted to have your second kid, Megan. Oh, lovely. I haven't had a, an opportunity to have a second kid yet, but that'd be exciting. I think once they move out of the crib, I think you get a chance to get a second one. Is that true? I believe that's the case. If you were to organize your chest, what category should you have, Mike? I don't know. We had this conversation a while back about how to organize things, and some people do not like how I organize, because <laughs> I put stuff all over the place. But I do it in my head. It seems logical. Like, I put stuff next to machines that it relates to. Cheeto is blocking my door. Cheeto, out of the way. I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, but I put things related to the areas they belong to. It's like animal products next to the barn, chicken stuffs next to the chicken coop, uh, farming stuffs next to the farm, you know what I mean? So that's my preference, but I know some people like to have a single chest for every single item, so they have just rows and rows of chests in one place. But I'm not sure. I think it just depends on your style and how you like to play. I really wish they had an automatic sorting system, like a Starbound mod or something, where you can just put things in one chest and it automatically distributes it across your farm to all the places. That'd be awesome. That's true, Cat. Anyone with real kids knows they don't sleep. Yeah. <laughs> you sleep whenever they sleep because you don't get the chance often, right? <laughs> Welcome back, Capri Sun. Okay, Vincent's birthday's today. It's Wednesday. Let's check the TV. Clear and sunny all day. Spirits are neutral. Queen of Sauce is a re rerun. Thank you for sleeping. Um, you're welcome, I guess. Sleep's good. I like sleeping. <laughs> um, okay, so we want to make complete breakfast for our hubby. 
Alex. So we need hash browns. And we need pancakes. And we need fried eggs. And now we have nine complete breakfasts. So Alex doesn't have to eat blueberries anymore. I'm sure he'll be thrilled. And he loves it. Did I not notice you're nagging, Luke? Um, I did notice you talking about sleep, but I didn't realize you were nagging me, no. Is it okay if your slime hutch hasn't produced any slimes and it's been two weeks? Are you filling your water troughs every day, gaming giraffe? Hey honey, I made you a hot breakfast. If you want to get strong, you heave to eat like you mean it. They really need to fix that grammar. <laughs> okay, see? Here's my baby, Han Solo. So I can throw him around. He gets pretty excited about it. I don't know what my relationship is with him, though. One heart. Woohoo! You have been watering the troughs gaming giraffe? Well, that is strange. Yeah, I don't know what's going on then. How many slimes do you have? I've got mail. Red lace, I made you a little treat this morning in the saloon. Dig in your friend Gus. Ooh, a fish taco. Wow, does a fish taco not sound delicious or what? Like a bunch of cabbage? Ugh, oh, ugh, oh, so hungry. I could totally eat a fish taco. You guys always catch me right before lunch, so I'm, I know I'm always talking about food. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the timing. <laughs> it's just the timing. <laughs> well, my tulips are ready. Aren't they pretty? Aren't they pretty? You've never tried tacos? Are you living on the moon? Tacos are amazing! Luke, go get yourself a taco this instant. <laughs> Tacos are so delicious. I eat tacos probably, I don't know, at least once a week. My boyfriend and I love tacos, so we really like Mexican food. We eat a lot of it. Love Mexican food. So good. What am I doing? Bucket. Shears. There we go. Gus loves the fish taco. I think the problem Gaming Giraffe is having Pavo is that he's not even getting any slimes. Like, we know how they make piles of slime and you can collect the slime balls from them. I think that's what's going on for him. Yeah, Chronic, you always are making tasty meals. <laughs> Talking about your homemade goodies. <laughs> Just because you live in England doesn't mean you can't have tacos. We make our own. You just have to get the, the stuff and then you can make tacos all you like. Tacos are amazing! Taco! Now Mike wants tacos! And I want tacos! I'm gonna have to make tacos for dinner tonight! <laughs> okay, I'll stop with my taco tune. <laughs> Okay. Alright, I don't even want to collect the rest of this fruit and stuff right now, because I know I need to go do other things. I need to go to the mines. So, let's stop my dilly-dallying. Oh, look how pretty. I kind of want to leave them. Can I leave my tulips just because they're pretty? I kind of want to. I think I might. <laughs> I don't want to eat the cherry. I want, I want these to go in those. There we go. There we go. Alright, and we need to go find Vincent for his birthday. I'm just going to toss these in here so I can convert them to seeds later. And uh, we'll drop off some of this fruit here. Okay. Thank you, Megan. I'm glad you liked my song. Thank you, Luke. <laughs> If Han Solo and Leia named their son Guitar, so the full name would be Guitar Solo. <laughs> oh, Pavo, you funny. <laughs> You're so funny. If I make tacos, I need to share. I will definitely share. My boyfriend will be getting some tacos. <laughs> Taco or burrito, Mike? 
I'm all about taco. I don't like a lot of sodium in my food, and burritos require flour tortilla shells, and flour tortilla shells have like 700 milligrams of sodium in one shell, which a day is worth of sodium is 1500 milligrams, so I don't tend to eat burritos. <laughs> Hang on, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. <laughs> I didn't want to talk to that person. What should you name your new pig? Um, what about Curly? Curly the pig. Okay, Luke or Vincent's not in here. You're not a fan of veggies, Luke. I love vegetables. I probably eat more vegetables than anything else. I could be probably a vegetarian if I wanted to. And that's true, chronic, yeah. Tacos can be just meat and cheese and the good stuff. Sour cream, salsa. Oh, you like my ringtone, Almeida? <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Have a great Vincent. Happy birthday. You remembered my birthday? Thank you. This is great. They don't sell taco shells in Iceland, Luke? I thought you said you were in England just a second ago. I'm confused. Miss Penny says I have to read this book before I can go play. She's making him read on his birthday? That's just mean. That's mean, Penny. Chronic's got a good name for a pig, but he doesn't want to share. Uh-oh. Can I see your friend point with the characters real quick? Um, what? I'm not sure what you're asking me to do, legit. What do you want me to... What do you want me to do? Luke, I don't know what to tell you. You don't seem like you like a lot of anything. <laughs> you need to branch out and try new things. Get the goods. Tacos are amazing. Iceland is the name of a shop. Oh, okay. Yes, Capri Sun, I am on year four. Truffletron 5000, that's an interesting name for a pig. Kevin Bacon, I like that one. Capri Sun, that's a good one. Uh, Chronic sharing his name. Chris P. Bacon. I like it. <laughs> I'm running low on copper bars. If someone could bring me one, it would be much appreciated. Marnie, 180 gold on delivery, and Marnie will be thankful. Okay, well, we will do that for Marnie, but first things first, we need stone, so let's go to the mine. <laughs> Chronic takes a bow for his expert naming. Expert pig naming skills. <laughs> As he should. Alright, Pam, let's go. Take me to the desert. You also barely like any foods, Almeida? You and Luke can hang out together for meals, then. <laughs> I like a lot of different foods. I um, I pretty much like most all foods. But I do really like tacos, because you can kind of make your own thing. Like, you can do whatever. And, uh, hey, this is where all my stone is. We're going to steal that. We're going to use that for our preserve jars today. You bet. Oh, yeah, and I need those life elixirs. Definitely want the life elixirs. So I'm storing all my stuff for the mines at the mines so that I don't have to worry about bringing it with me every time because as you all know, if you're a regular, I can't remember. <laughs> so I came up with a solution of putting it all right here and it works out quite well, I think. Area's overrun. Oh no. Oh, I forgot to drop stuff off, Megan. Darn it. You reminded me of everything, and I totally still forgot. Oh well. Oh well. Baked beans. I don't think that's a vegetable. I think beans are a legume. Not quite the same. I like carrots and corn, though. Carrots and corn are good. I eat a lot of carrots and corn. I eat a lot of peas. I love green vegetables. Mm. Hey, Banana Owl! Welcome! How's it going today? 
Yes, Mike, you do need a galaxy sword. You need to find that prismatic shard and get yourself one of these massively awesome swords. Your mining days will never be the same. <laughs> yeah, I don't really think I'm going to get very far in the mines this time, Megan. I'm really here for stone, probably more than anything else. And it would figure that the first room I get is overrun by monsters, so I don't get any stone. It's awesome. <laughs> I want to get really low, down low in the mines, bring loads of stairs and five stacks of 99 stone. 999 stone. Just keep going down until you run out. Uh, yeah, I would do that, Luke. Uh, that's a good idea. Right now I'm not really trying to get down, I'm just trying to get stone so I can make preserve jars. So we have a little bit of a purpose here today. And um, so yeah, this is kind of why we're here. We want to preserve the fruit. But I will keep that in mind for moving forward. We'll try that one day. You're annoying ill, banana. You're sick? If you're sick, you're joining the club. There's a lot of sick people in here today. A lot of people not feeling well. Steak and potatoes kind of girl cat. I can get on board with steak and potatoes. I'm all about the fillets. Ooh, a hole! The rare purple ore is the Iridium, Luke. Yeah, and it's definitely more prominent down at the bottom. I fell six levels! Uh, I'm not sick, Banana. I'm doing well, thank you. I have some allergies today, but I'll survive. <laughs> I have allergies most days, so it's nothing too bad, but... Yay, an Omni Geode! Welcome back, Pavo. Chronic, you make a kick-butt steak. Well, that's good. Yeah, I don't cook steak. I let my boyfriend do that. He makes a pretty mean steak himself. So, he's in charge of the meat department. <laughs> That's his thing. He does it on the the uh, like a pan fry on both sides, and then pops it in the oven to finish. We like fillets, so it's really good. It's making me hungry. Making me hungry. Iridium band and Yoba's ring. What am I using? Um, yeah, that's what I'm using actually. Pavo, the Iridium band, and the ring of Yoba. Uh, I believe the cave is mo bottomless, Luke. The uh, Skull Cavern. I believe that is true. Yeah, I think, Chronic, you're going to have to stick to saltines and chicken broth, <laughs> it sounds like. <laughs> what am I allergic to, Banana? Oh, everything. A lot. <laughs> um, I'm allergic to a lot of foods, actually. Um, I could list them for you, but I eat a few of them anyway. The only real killer ones for me are nuts and peanuts. I can't have those at all. But I am allergic to quite a few things, but I eat them anyway. And it's uh, peanuts, garlic, tomatoes, chocolate, eggs, strawberries, and uh, all nuts. So, yeah. I'm allergic to all the good stuff, but I eat all of it anyway, other than the nuts and peanuts. I can't have that, so... It's lame, but I get by. I'm about to die. <laughs> What's the easiest way of getting around these mines without dying? Um, Capri Sun, I would recommend trying the Ring of Yoba, because it negates damage occasionally. I'd also recommend a decent weapon, so either the Lava Sword or the Galaxy Sword. Um, other than that, I think it's just a matter of bringing a lot of food to replenish your health or elixirs like I have. Has anyone tried two Iridium Bands? Uh, I haven't Moppin', but I believe they do stack. I've heard they stack, but I don't have any proof of this, but I hear they do. Where does Kent sleep? I think he sleeps in the same room as Jody. All right, cat. See you later. Have a good trip to the store.
How do I get the that ring? Which one? The ring of Yoba or the um, Iridium Band? Which one are you asking about, Capri? The Iridium Band you can make, and it's um, five Iridium Bars, 50 Solar Essence, and 50 Void Essence. And the Ring of Yoba you can also make, and it is five Gold Bars, five Iron Bars, and one Diamond, and it occasionally shields the wearer from damage. So you can make them both. The Skull Cavern has a limit of 214748364747. That's a long, long number. And when you get to that floor, it'll crash. Interesting, Almeida. Very interesting. Yeah, Mop and it is an investment to make another band. I agree. It is not cheap. Uh, yeah, Capri Sun, I just made the Ring of Yoba, so. Five gold bars, five iron bars, and one diamond. Hey, Deboki, welcome. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I'm in a musical mood today, so you guys are just going to have to suffer through my, my singing. I'm sorry. That's a good question, Mike. How did people come across that random number? Like, how did they even get down there in a full day? I wonder if they had mods, because that seems like a long way. Don't really want that bomb. Here, does it work, Deboki? Working hard, it sounds like. <laughs> awesome. Oh yeah, the fire katana. It's yeah, that's exactly what I meant. If I said lava sword, I meant fire katana. You got the right one. I should take the purple mushroom. Well, I don't really want to take the purple mushroom. I have mushrooms on my farm in my cave, and so I have a ton of mushrooms. So the purple mushrooms kind of seem like they just take up room in my inventory at the moment, so that's why I skipped it. Ah! Bug! Now, if you like to sing, Luke, you go right ahead and sing. Alright, 840. Still a little while. I can dig a little longer. How are we doing on our stone front? We have 344 or 399 stone towards our goal of making preserved jars. So we definitely need more stone. Stone, stone. Okay. You're in a choir, Capri Sun? So you probably can sing. You can carry a tune, huh? <laughs> Not me. I just sing because I enjoy it. Not the best singer. I don't even think I'm a decent singer, but my boyfriend doesn't mind, so I sing away. I sing in the car. <laughs> You have a band, Banana Owl? Awesome. What kind of music does your band play? You just finished a song? Let's get rid of that two pieces of iron. We'll take the amethyst instead. Ooh, this looks like a great place for a bomb. Yes, yes, indeed. Indeed. Let's blow up some stone. Boom! Goes the dynamite. Let's 
take a health potion. I'm getting nervous. Have I ever heard of Steven Universe? No, I have not, Luke. I have not heard of that. Ouch! That one hit me a little bit. <laughs> you sing wherever you go, banana. Those happy people walking down the street singing a tune. <laughs> well, that's cool. You sing on your bike? Is that weird? No, I'd say why not? Sing on your bike. Have a good time. It's a cartoon? Yeah, I haven't seen it. You were in a band too, Chronic? You played the drums? That's cool. Drums are fun. You can't whistle, Luke? You need to practice. You could whistle if you practice. It's possible. If you wanted to whistle, you could probably figure out how. Uh-oh, it's getting late. 12 a.m. Okay, time to go. Time to go. Standard pop music? I like standard pop music. I think that's okay. Alright, 572 stone. I'd say we did pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Your voice probably gets high gaming draft because you get nervous. <laughs> Luke replaces his whistling with screaming. Well, that's one take on it. It's a school band, so your teacher has guidelines. I see. Gotcha. Makes sense, banana. Okay. It looks like all my honey is ready. I got the money, honey. Do, 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 do. All right, let's, let's get some of this smelting tonight. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to sing in front of, like, a crowd. Mm -mm, no way. No way. Not me, man. <laughs> Leave that to the pros. I like to sing in the safety of my car. <laughs> it's more my style. <laughs> I know, it does look like day on my farm even at night Capri Sun. That's probably why I fall asleep outside my farm so often. Just because it does. It's hard to tell. Okay, I don't think I have time. We're not going to fall asleep next to my bed again like we did yesterday. So, we're going to bed now. No birthdays tomorrow. We got Vincent his birthday present, so we're good to go. Yeah, that'd be cool, Banana L. Post it on, like, Twitter or something. Check it out. You have embarrassing videos of you singing to Bokey? <laughs> oh, we all want to see those. <laughs> Video and everything. That's awesome. <laughs> My grandmother has videos of me singing karaoke at some family reunion back when I was like 12, way back in the day. <laughs> I think I was singing like Shania Twain or something, yeah. I don't think I've karaoke since, to be honest. <laughs> Your girlfriend tried to get you to sing in the talent show giraffe. Didn't want to do it. <laughs> Don't blame you. Alex is so excited he doesn't get blueberries every morning now. Come here. Mm, you're firming up from all that farm work. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Oh, the baby's gone. Where's Han Solo? Someone took the baby! What'd you do with the baby, Alex? Oh, there he is. Look at little Hans crawling. Big day, guys. Look at him go! <laughs> oh, 
Han Solo can crawl. I'm so excited. Upload that video to YouTube? No way, Deboki. No way. Me singing Shania Twain? No one ever needs to see that. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> mm -mm. Not gonna happen. Nope. <laughs> You're lucky I even told you about it. <laughs> I've got mail. Dear Red Lace, I ordered too much fertilizer for the garden. I bet you can put it to some good use. Take care, Jody. Five basic retaining soil. Well, thanks, Jody. You're such a pal. <laughs> no, Dabogi, it's not gonna happen. You can't make me na 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 na. <laughs> Maybe one day. Maybe one day. I'll let the world see me singing. <laughs> I'll go hide in a corner for the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah, 12 year old red lace. Mm. <laughs> Tall and awkward is what comes to mind. <laughs> Potatoes! More potatoes for Alex. Gertrude, what are you doing in the garden? Miss Duck, quacking at me. It's honey-tastical down here. Lots and lots of blue jazz honey. Well, good job, Scarecrow. You scared off one crow. Congratulations! At 500,000 subs, upload it. <laughs> it's a deal. <laughs> Alright, let's grab. Looks like Wilma needs to be sheared. So let's do that. We'll milk Betsy and Cortana. Come here, Wilma. You're looking a little round. Why is it saying I'm trying to shear Wilm or Betsy? That's just silly. There we go. There we go. A truffle in the middle of the road? That's a strange place for a truffle. I'll be right back, guys. I am back. Thank you for waiting. You have trouble with the milking and shearing too, Megan, so it's not just me. That's good to know. I was wondering if it was just my controller acting up, but it sounds like it's not, which is nice. Controller actually works really well in this game. Can't say the same for Undertale yesterday. The controller does not like Undertale. It was not cooperative in the least bit. Uh, Luke, I what what are you asking for answers about? I may have missed whatever it is you're asking. Truffle behind the tree? I missed a truffle, Papo? Oh no. We better go get it. Truffle behind the tree. Let's play the scavenger hunt. Truffle? Ah, aha. Thank you. Bonus truffle. Okay, so uh, 
Whenever you say awkward things, there's delays. I don't know what to tell you about that. Not sure. Okay. Sell all that blue jazz honey. Got 11 more potatoes to make hash browns with for Alex, so that's great. Let's make some preserve jars. Our goal today, we need coal. Okay, let's grab some coal. Undertale is fun. I um, just was having issues with the controller yesterday because the controller seems to want to walk you to the right automatically, like whenever you're not holding it down. So you're constantly trying to hit left so you stop walking to the right. It was a bit weird. And the bonus truffle goes to me, Banana Owl. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so how many preserve jars can we make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a few. Uh, four, eight, we made nine. Okay, nine is almost double what we had before, so I'll take it. Now I just need to find somewhere to put them. It's April Fool's Day for you in just a little bit, Almeida. Not a big fan of April Fool's, I will say. It's not my favorite. I think it's a mean-spirited holiday. Hey, Amelia! How's it going? Okay, where do I want to put these? I'm just undecided here. I kind of want to put them just down here and make rows of them. I think I might. Okay, we're going to do that. I'm just going to put a ton of them down here. So we're going to get rid of these trees. I'm going to have to get some stuff to chop that grass. So where's my scythe? Grass chopping. I need actually a lot of hay. My silos are almost empty. I have a missing walk path right there, and that's going to bother me, so I better repair it. You've never been April Fool's pranked? Yeah, I'm just not a fan of that holiday. I think it's a little mean-spirited. Okay. So... Preserve jars, preserve jars. I think I need flooring. So let's make some flooring real fast. Making weathered floor. If you don't have weathered floor, you can get it from the dwarf in the mines. You accidentally planted 48 fairy roses, Deboki. Fairy roses make the highest quality honey, so if they're near honey houses or bee houses, um, that's what I would do with them because they're worth 680 gold each, the fairy rose honey. Oh, there's a, a tree seed there. What is it doing? Yeah, I think that's true, Megan. The pranks that aren't mean-spirited aren't so bad. But the ones that make people feel stupid or scare them or whatever, I just don't really care for those at all. Yeah, for me too, Amelia. Tomorrow's just another day. First of April is just another day for me. No, you don't put fairy roses in the honey house, Deboki. You want to put them next to the honey houses. So kind of have, I have my blue jazz honey like lining my bee houses. Uh, you want to do that with the fairy roses. Uh, so that you can get the honey to be fairy rose honey instead of just wild honey. If that makes sense. I love the Iridium Axe. Everything just chops down so fast. It's awesome. Okay. I'm not going all the way to the edge because I'm going to put hardwood fence around the edge here, so we're just going so far. It's like I ran out of floor. Thank you for the follow, Dark. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you joining us. 
So if you guys are enjoying the broadcast today, please be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and follow me here on Twitch, all at Red Lace Gaming. I'm live every day at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. You can also visit my website, redlacegaming.com, and if you'd like to help support my channels and let me continue bringing you these gaming videos and live streams every day, please make a donation to help out. I'd really appreciate it. Everything makes a difference, so that would mean a lot to me, and you can do that from my website, redlacegaming.com or directly from my Twitch channel. You can also download the Indie Guide to Stardew Valley right now from my website. If you haven't got that, I'd recommend you go give that a peek and uh, offer some tips and tricks for how to play the game. Alright, so there we go. One row of preserved jars. Not many, but it's more than we had, so at least there's that. I'm going to connect this here so it's all one area. That's okay, Luke. That's fine. Alright, we need fencing. Um, I can make a little bit of fence here with what I have on me, but I think I need to go grab my stack of hardwood. Don't have much. <laughs> yeah, you can move the bee houses near the roses, like Megan said to Boki. That might be the best thing to do or the easiest right now. You've already got the roses planted. Alright, Chronic. Uh-oh, one of my hardwood fences finally broke down. Yikes. Hopefully they don't all start going at once like they do occasionally. That's the worst. Alright, hardwood. I'm going to need to go do some hardwood farming down at the uh, Secret Woods, I think. Yeah, I don't currently use a Facebook page for my gaming stuff, Luke. Sorry. Alright, let's make fence. Fencing. Gonna have some fencing. Dun -na -na -na. Dun -na -na -dun -dun. Yeah, Amelia, hardwood fences do break. However, they take much longer than any of the other types of materials for fencing. But yeah, they do eventually break down. So they don't last forever. Alright, let's put a fence gate right there. You accidentally harvested all the roses, Deboki? Oh no! Uh oh! <laughs> Alright, we'll put another fence gate right there. And that light needs to move, it's in a weird place. Now, if I'm going to leave the tree there, actually, the light can stay. It's fine. It blocks it. Fence gate there. Alright, there we go. So this will be our preserved jar area. We just need more preserved jars. What did we run out of? We ran out of coal was the problem. Maybe I have some more. Let's go see. Um, this isn't the chest I wanted, but I'll drop this stuff off while I'm in it. Okay, um, are Stardew Valley and Harvest Moon is similar as people say, Mike? Uh, I don't know, I haven't played Harvest Moon, but I hear people do say it is very similar, but I can't offer any knowledge in that. I don't know about Harvest Moon, so... I'm assuming it is, because the guy that developed it, I remember, he was even talking about Harvest Moon, so I think he, it is. I think Harvest Moon is on Nintendo. Uh, the Wii and the 3DS, is that right? I think that's what it's on. Alright, making coal. Can't believe I ran out of coal. But eight a pop for a preserved jar. Seems expensive, so it doesn't totally surprise me that I ran out of coal, but wow. Okay. Thank you for the follow, Forever Twitch. I really appreciate it. You've played too much Stardew Valley this week? That's impossible. 
it's impossible to play too much Stardew Valley. <laughs> Hello Marbo, welcome. How's it going today? Alright, well when these finish I might move those down to the bottom area. I think I'm going to need to put a chest down here as well. So we're going to put it in this corner for extra fruit and such. I think it takes two days for fruit preserves or vegetable preserves to uh, be ready, so that's not too bad. It's a pretty quick turnaround for quite a bit of money. Harvest Moon is on the Wii and 3DS, Megan. Awesome. Good to know. Alright, let's put on our slime charmer ring so the slimes can't damage us and we will go inside and collect the goodies. I haven't been in here in a little while, so let's see what's going on. Oh, lots and lots of slimes. Those two are going to go mate. Oh my. Oh my. I think we need to do some clearing out. Just a little. There's a lot of them. So many. So many slimes! It's also on older Nintendo systems. Cool. Alright. Well, the slimes are keeping busy. Thank you, Banana Owl. I'm glad you like my farm. Okay, so let's switch that ring back off. Slime Charmer for the Ring of Yoba. The slime charmer ring back in the chest. Okay. Oh, that's okay, Bryce. No problem at all. If you message me on Steam during the stream, I will respond after. Uh, I don't check messages during the stream, so the easiest way to get a hold of me is uh, through the stream chat. What does slime use for, Amelia? Um. Wow, I can't even remember all the things slime are used for, but I think it's crafting material for some things. Um, what is it? Yes, the oil maker. You need 50 slimes to make an oil maker, so that's one of the things I need a lot of slimes for, because I want to make a bunch of oil makers for truffle oil. But I think there might be a couple other things, too. I just can't think of it off the top of my head. Does anybody else know what you can use slime for? I'm drawing a blank. I need to go buy some more seeds. I'm not making any money sitting on nothing. Alright, we're just gonna store this coal for now and we will hopefully get more later. Grab that honey. You can play some of the Harvest Moon games on PlayStation too. Wow, it's everywhere. The community house thing. Oh yeah, that's true. One of the um, community center bundles requires 99 slime, I believe. So yeah, Bryce, thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, let's make some more hash browns with these potatoes. Make another complete breakfast. Whoa, what just happened? What is going on? I can't get out of the screen. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What just happened? Okay. <laughs> Not sure what's going on. I just <laughs> unplugged my controller. I totally have a glitch. I can't move these pancakes anywhere and it won't let me do anything. I can't even get out of the screen now. My game just freaked out. Um, hmm. I'm stuck. What 
Whoa, okay, there we go. The pancakes seriously betrayed me, and it took all my rice and made it into rice pudding. I don't know, except for eight. I don't know what just happened. The game just had a heart attack. That's all I know. I have no idea. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think pigs are just good for truffles, Luke. I think that's what their purpose is, is to get truffles. Okay, yeah, that was random. Let's save before something else freaks out. Oh no, Cheeto! Oh, we have to move the plant to get into bed. <laughs> oh, I don't want to talk to you, Alex. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> wow, okay. That was a very rice time. And not so nice. <laughs> Okay, haven't seen that happen before. That was a bit bizarre. Hey, it's Han Solo! What's up, baby Han? Okay, let's check the TV. <laughs> funny, Megan, yeah. Not so funny! <laughs> It's funny now that it's fixed, but I was freaking out. <laughs> Panicky. <laughs> yes, Han Solo is a solo baby. Clear and sunny tomorrow. The egg festival's tomorrow, really? The egg festival? Mm, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. Feels like we just did the egg festival because I did it on my other character. Are you excited for tomorrow's festival? I guess it'll be good to load up on the free eggs. We should check to see if anybody has a birthday tomorrow. Yeah, I think I will. I'll post something in the forums, Capri Sun, about that, because that was definitely bizarre. Just interacted with the stove and all of a sudden it made rice puddings. <laughs> like, I don't know. Dear Red Lace, tomorrow we're holding the Egg Festival in the town square. You should arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you'd like to attend. You wouldn't want to miss the annual egg hunt. I think Abigail might appreciate if I miss it, because I'm going to beat her. <laughs> okay, so another fence broke. Aw, oh, man. I don't have any hardwood either. I think we're gonna need to go down to the forest. Oh, I do have hardwood fence, okay. Just kidding. I lied. Just kidding. There we go. Fences are repaired. Yeah, that's true, Megan. Yeah, I can tell him exactly what happened. Show him the video. Where did I get the purple painting in my house, Mike? Um, purple painting. I don't no. I buy a lot of paintings from the Traveling Merchant and Robin. Uh, purple painting. This one? Uh, I think I bought that one from the Traveling Merchant, but I really can't remember exactly. I know, isn't that strange? The event's from 9am to 2pm, but you come back home at like 10 o'clock at night. A lot of dilly-dallying at the fair, if you ask me. Alright, we don't... Our Betsy's are ready to shear again. Didn't we just shear her? Okay. Truffle oil. Another truffle. Hey Cortana, do you have any milk for me? No milk. The purple painting can come from the merchant, Robin. As Red said, or it might be gifted as a reward from Gunther. There we go. Yeah, so all those places, like Chronic says. <laughs> His memory is serving him better than mine. Okay. Make some more milk and some cheese and some wool. If we can get Cortana to move. Out of the way, Cortana. There we go. Move it! <laughs> okay. 
Let's go buy some more seeds from Pierre and get some more crops going. Get some more wood in the furnace since we're trying to make coal so we can make more preserve jars. Sometimes you shear them twice in a row when they're really happy. Oh, that's interesting, Megan. I didn't know that. Well, I guess Cortana, or Wilma, is a happy goat. Or a happy sheep. I'm getting my animals mixed up. <laughs> hey, Pam, have a blueberry. You know, I wish, I've been thinking, I wish I had a hobby. Something to do other than hanging around at the saloon every night. You got any ideas? Ugh, maybe I'll play checkers against myself. Well, that doesn't sound very fun. Better than drinking at the saloon, I suppose. Forageables. Away, Mario, let's go. Okay, what to buy? It's Friday the 12th, so we can plant anything. We have plenty of time. I'm almost thinking a bunch of cauliflower. Those are worth a pretty good price, so let's stock up on cauliflower. Let's go to town with the cauliflower. Plant a bunch of them. I think that'll work. Maybe we'll get some more garlic, too. Um... And I guess we need more rice, but I'm scared to even go near my stove now for fear it might freak out. <laughs> does Stardew Valley have leap years, Luke? No, it does not. No leap years. Alright. Okay, thank you, Pierre. Oh, thank you so much. You can have a blueberry. What's after year four, Bryce? Um, it's mostly endgame at this point. I'm working towards the Statue of Endless Fortune and kind of just sprucing up the farm to get extra money. Um, digging through the mines to see how far you can get in the Skull Cavern, so things like that. Oh, excuse me, I was mumbling about fashion again, wasn't I? Yes, you were. All good advice, Pavo. All good advice. Okay, let's plant. Take that coal. Get a couple more things of wood going. Alright, I need fertilizer over here. Fertilizer. Quality fertilizer. That'll work. Quality fertilizer. What's the Statue of Endless Fortune, Capri Sun? Um, I'm not sure exactly what it does yet, because uh, I don't have one, but um, somebody said they had one. I can't remember who. Someone said today they have one. I'm drawing a blank. Um, but I believe... I heard someone say that maybe you get birthday gifts for people from it, so you don't have to get birthday gifts or make birthday gifts for them anymore. But I'm not sure. I'm really interested to see. It's cost a million gold and you can buy it from the casino. And so I'm saving up for my million gold so I can buy one and see what it's all about. I'm gonna have a mix of regular fertilizer and quality in here, but that's okay. I'm thinking I should start pickling vegetables. 
I have so many just sitting in chests in my house, I should just pickle a bunch of them and maybe make some money that way. Why not? Yeah, if you haven't gotten to the casino yet, it's a part of the mysterious Mr. Key quest line. And you can start that quest line by walking to the bus and then going left and continue walking left all the way into the dark tunnel. Oops, and uh, once you get there you'll want to bring a battery pack with you and there's a little box on the wall that you will insert the battery pack into and that will start the Mr. Key quest line. That'll allow you access to the casino when you finish with it. Alright, I ran out of fertilizer, so the rest of these are going to be unfertilized, but that's okay. Not a huge deal. I love my iridium watering can. <laughs> I am not going to read that text that's related to the statue. I want to be surprised, so I'm sorry if I'm not acknowledging those comments, but feel free to talk amongst yourselves about it. Planting cauliflower. Cauliflower is one of the crops you can actually make giant crops with, so if you have a 3x3 three three area where they're planted, they have a chance of becoming a giant cauliflower crop. I have a couple going on the other side of my farm that I'm hoping will turn into giant cauliflowers in 3x3 three three spots, so we'll see. Alright, see you later, Mike. Have a good day. Thanks for hanging out. Welcome back, Megan. Looks like my potatoes are ready down here. Potato, potato. Trying really hard not to accidentally take my blue jazz flowers. <laughs> that would be a bummer. What about the Tunnel Capri Sun? Um, so if you want to start the Mr. Key quest line, you need to go to the bus stop and walk left to the next area and then continue walking left into the tunnel and it's dark in there and then you can access the Mr. Key quest line from inside the tunnel and you need to bring a battery pack with you to activate the panel on the wall. Get some garlic over here I guess because I'm out of cauliflower seeds. Maybe be able to plant these over on the other side, so let's go check. These trees need to grow faster, taking their sweet time. So right here is where I'm trying to grow giant cauliflowers, this middle area, because there's three by three spaces, so I have a chance of these being giant. I really hope some of them are, that'd be awesome. I haven't got a giant crop yet, and I really want one, so <laughs> I'm hoping maybe I get lucky and get one this time.